So first and foremost, welcome everybody. Hopefully you're having a great day trading in the markets, whether you're tinkering on the charts or you're actively trading or you're getting your bearings with education and all that fun stuff. Today is a really exciting event for me and my team because we're going to be introducing you to, I think, an undiscovered arm of our company in that, uh, you know, some of the relationships that we work with behind the scenes, a lot of you may or may not know who they are. And it's actually a privilege for me to introduce Adrian from Expert Trading Programmers uh, and his all new trade copying technology that they've been working at Steadfast for for better part of over a year. Hey, Adrian, I think it's been almost a year you guys have been working on this. Yeah, um, it's a little bit over. Yeah. A little bit over? Yeah, well... Yeah. I'm excited because for for many of you who come to our webinars, you know, we're very selective with who we 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 kind of endorse. And Adrian is nothing short of great. Him and his team have been working with us for over 4 years now. Uh, his development teams have been responsible for bringing our products into TradingView. Uh, they're literally have helped program over 30% of our product line inside of Ninja. Uh, they've been working with our dev guys for years. So I've got a lot of trust in Adrian and his team. I've got a lot of belief in their their products. And uh, more importantly, we're super excited to kind of introduce their new trade copier. And um, the kind of the sexy sizzle behind this is there's a huge problem in the industry. And Adrian and his team went to market and basically started building a solution for that problem. Now, I'm not going to take his thunder. He's going to go over his presentation. But moving forward, many of you know that we're getting ready to release the TickBlaze platform, more to come. And then ultimately, NeuroStreet funding in Q1 of next year is the game plan. Adrian's trade copier is going to be our direct integration for both TickBlaze and NeuroStreet funding. And you're going to see why we're choosing to go in this direction using this type of a trade copier versus what's out there in the industry now. It's just hands down better technology, better technology, better solutions, and it's platform neutral. And I think that's going to be the huge selling point today. So I'm going to pass it over to Adrian. I'm here. My team's here. Thanks for being here, uh, Adrian. And uh, if you have any questions in the chat box, just type them in and we'll go over them at the end. We are recording this and we'll send it out to you post event with all the links and all the details and the, and the discounts. So take it away, Adrian. Hey, guys. Uh, thank you, Sean, for the very wonderful introduction. Uh, as Sean mentioned, I'm Adrian Tomulet, the co-founder of Expert Trading Programmers, also known as ETP. And I'm very happy to be with you, with you here today. And I hope that everyone will benefit out of this presentation. Now, as Sean mentioned, if you have any questions, leave them in the chat box and uh, we'll get to them at the end of the presentation or maybe even during the, uh, the technical side of things. So before we get into the presentation, I'm sure you'd like to know a little bit about us. Uh, my wife and I fo uh, founded this company just over a decade ago uh, to combine our two passions, trading and programming. During this decade, we've learned the ins and outs of programming, trading and life in general. Uh, through the hard times and the good, we stuck with ETP and have gone into what it is today, a company that employs over seven programmers for diverse trading platforms, a company that has created over 4,000 plus indicators and strategies for diverse clients from Joe the Trader and a simple indicator to trading companies and prop trading firms like uh, what Sean has uh, with server integrations and in-depth statistical analysis. We've done it all, essentially. However, with all these achievements, what we are really most proud of, and unfortunately, we only thought about asking clients about three years ago to do this, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's that we have a five-star five reputation on Google from 61 reviews. That's 100% customer satisfaction, at least in my book. And really, we are most proud of this because that is what we strive for, keeping our clients happy by meeting their expectations and even in some cases exceeding them. One day we are helping one of our clients, you might know who this is, uh, expand the new arm of their trading business and we came across the prop trading world. Having spent the better part of the year working on our client's expansion in the prop trading world, we noticed something missing, something very important. However, we shrugged it off 
at the time and kept going forward. Then one day it hit us. Uh, we were working on a, I don't know, design server flow or something, essentially something totally unrelated. So uh, then it hit us. The fact that traders join prop trading firms to get evaluated and ultimately get paid for trading. Now, let's be realistic. The payouts from one account aren't really all that good, right? After government taxes, bank fees, there isn't really that much left. So what we noticed is that traders really like grabbing a minimum of two evaluation accounts, sometimes even five at once, so that they can actually live off the payouts from the prop trading firm, right? More accounts, bigger payouts. Now comes the part that is missing. Prop trading clients such as yourselves have a real hard time copying trades unless they're already on NinjaTrader 8, MetaTrader, or Quantal. Now, most of you guys are on NinjaTrader 8, so you're right there. But if you're on any other platform, any of uh, outside of these three, you really don't have many options. So that's where the idea of the platformless trading copier was born. Once we decided we had to do something about this issue, we started designing and implementing our ideas for the track copy. As we began implementing our ideas, we spoke to diverse clients of ours and they helped us out with diverse ideas and improvements to our base idea. The ideas started to flow so fast and so many that it was all we could do that we could keep up with the influx. The result of all these ideas was, and with quite a little bit of elbow grease as well, <laughs> is a trade copier that runs on Windows 10 and 11 directly as an application, a software that connects directly to the Rhythmic account without the need of the RTrader Pro to be open, just the trading platform and the trade copier to seamlessly copy trades from one account to another. Now, let's talk a little bit more about features for the trade copier, at least what we've got implemented up to now. We have to this point, I have to, <clears throat> sorry, I have to point this out again, as I think this is a real game changer for traders trying to pass the prop trading evaluation. It is platformless, meaning that it doesn't matter what platform you trade from, as long as you are trading a rhythmic connection, you can use the ETP platformless trade copier to copy your trades from one account to another. Now we do have to, yes, I just saw that with the corner of my eye. Uh, we do have to specify that at the moment, Apex, Popstep, and Bull Knox don't actually work. They do have some restrictions to their accounts. We are in the process of trying to contact them. Uh, so let me let me chime them. in there to help you with that one, Adrian. Because in all fairness, I think that that I think it's better to kind of rip the band-aid off and explain what's really going on versus you know having to defend the product. Yeah, I was trying to large. I was trying to do it the soft way. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't do things soft. I'm a straight shooter and everybody here is our client. So I'm just going to help you guys understand. Apex is exclusive to Ninja. They've been building their own trade copier to push out Replicanto. And they just want to tap into that revenue model because they're only going to be really scaling their business on Ninja, right? And so they obviously don't want to work with any other vendors in the future with trade copiers because they're trying to build their own. So that's Apex's business model, and that's really their their prerogative. Uh, Top Step is basically using their own platform. So ultimately, until uh, they finalize that transition, uh, it most likely won't be working inside of Top Step until we can create those business to business relationships. I know Adrian, you've got discussions out with their management team. I know you've been looking at integrating, but at this time, it's because they've been moving away and into their own trading platform. So ultimately, that's kind of the end of it. And Bolinox, well, Bolinox is Bolinox. I don't really have any experience with them. Um, it's Actually, I, I haven't even found who, who there are in the race, which is yeah. really weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I've never even seen their website, so I don't really know if it's uh, even worth mentioning. So, but, the, 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 yeah, so just to let you guys know, though, like there's, there's, uh, there's a whole lot more going on in the space as we expand in this outside of just Apex and Bolinox. <laughs> I can assure you this. And you'll see that in the DevOps roadmap with the features that are a part of this trade copier and why it basically blows all of them out of the water times 100. And you'll see why in, in a moment when we look at what's coming and the integrations into it. So just bear with Adrian and he'll, he'll explain it. Yeah. 
So essentially, outside of all those three, um, you can pretty much copy trades from any any of the other platforms. Now, there's a few more features that we need to outline besides the platformless feature, of course. Um, you have the ability to choose what account is your leader account and what uh, what accounts are your follower accounts. So you don't have to copy your trades from the leader account to all your follower accounts. You can select which accounts you want to copy to. To further drill down on the specifics, we have we gave you the ability to choose what instruments you want to copy trades from. Let me give you a for instance. So if you have a two hundred thousand dollar account. And you also have two fifty thousand dollar accounts. Since on the two hundred k account you have more margin, you can trade up to four instruments. Well, on the fifty k accounts, your margin only permits you to trade a maximum of two instruments. Well, you can have your leader account, the two hundred k account, and only copy trades to the follower accounts uh, for two instruments on one of the follower accounts and two instruments on the other follower account. Meaning that you can split the two hundred k account into two, essentially giving you two instruments in each of the accounts. Now, this is just a for instance. You don't actually have to do that. Um, diving even further into the features, we have also implemented a position size manager feature where you can choose a to copy a multiple uh, at your fingertips. I will go through this in just a second when we get to the technical part of the webinar. So, those were the base features of the trade copier. But as I mentioned before, and as Sean mentioned before, ideas did start to flow and obviously needed to be tested and validated before we put them into the development schedule. Now, what you see here, what you're gonna see here is the development schedule. So they are tested um, and they we know that they will work. So once we were done with the basic implementation, we started going hard at testing the ideas that we had updates for the trade copy because you have to do that. You can't just say, well, we'll do this and we'll do this upgrade. And then when you go to build it, you can't because there's some limitations of the platforms and we've hit this sort of roadmap in the past and it wasn't not good. And sorry, I'm going on off on a tangent. Let's get back on track. So without further ado, here are the main upgrades that we know for certain will be added to the trade copier as add-ons in the next year or so. Now, these are in the exact order, at least the first three anyway, that will add the upgrades to the trade copier. The other ones can be switched around, but the first three are 100% in order. So multiple consecutive connections, which is one of the questions from Rob Rogers. Uh, what this multiple consecutive connection does is, well, in short, there are star traders out there, and I'm sure there are more than a few here as well. You know who you are. Anyway, there are star traders out there that already have the maximum number of accounts that they're allowed to trade for a single prop trading company. So what this helps them do is to allow them to go through to another prop trading company and grab the maximum number of accounts from there as well and trade all of them at the same time with the trade copy. There are also traders that want to trade their own live account like CQG, for example. Well, this feature helps them trade their live account and their prop trading accounts all at once. So what this does is essentially lets you connect to multiple rhythmic connections at once. Obviously only for, from supported brokers. <laughs> uh, pretty cool, right? Well, it is until you see the next feature. Trading view integration, yes. You heard that correctly, TradingView integration. And we know NinjaTrader 8 already has a TradingView integration through Trader and and TradingView. And it's completely it, sloppy. It's like it's like, horrible. Like if you want to use TradingView, you got to use Trader And it's a freaking nightmare. Like yeah. if you just want to use TradingView. Trade. Yeah. If you just want to yeah. use TradingView, the biggest platform in the world by 17 times. <laughs> something uh, something ridiculous like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ninja Trader is a fly on the wall compared to them. Um, nobody wants to have to go through platform and platform and platform to do this. And that's the whole point of his trade copier is that it'll open up the integration. So you don't even need a platform. You just load this up and it just works with Rhythmic. You don't even need to have your platform running. Exactly. So, as I said, everybody. 
<laughs> this one is one of the add-ons that we're most excited about. And you can tell that Sean's also excited about this, right? So as TradingView is the largest charting platform, as Sean already went ahead of me and said, <laughs> in the world, and we have the ability to trade directly from the charts into your prop trading account, well, that's something, right? Now you can get really excited about this because, well, frankly, so are we. And because we've tested all the moving parts for this feature and they all work as expected with the current version of TradingView. So since TradingView don't really make it a habit of removing features from their offering, it's pretty safe to say that this feature will work 100% of the time for the lifetime of the trade copier or TradingView, whichever is shortest, TradingView. <laughs> now let's move on to the next feature yeah oh, crap i've gone on a little bit too much about multiple accounts trading view add-ons so i'm just going to breeze through the next few because uh this is eating up too much uh too much of the time so we will include position size and pnl display for trades right inside of the trade copier we will support multiple operating systems such as Mac, Linux on top of already existing Windows platforms, which are still, uh, we're still debating if we should go make it online with all the trade copy uh, being, you know, online on one server instead of being on each person's uh, machine. And we're, do we're still debating this because of security reasons, right? If it's on your machine, you're the only person that sees your trades, you and Rhythmic. If you're on a server, we have access to your trades. It's kind of a, it's a give and take. Yeah. Anyway, rambling on again. <laughs> the fifth upgrade will be the statistical analysis for each account individually or for the entire portfolio of trades. Now we put this in number six, but really we'll be adding these as we go, not just in one big step. We will continue to add connections to brokers and trade simulators as we keep developing this application. So right now we've got Rhythmic and Volumetrica. Uh, now this statistics at five didn't really appeal to many people, right? Because what we're trying to pretty statistics. Well, they will appeal to you after I mentioned this last point in the list of upgrades, because we need the statistics all in one place to be able to introduce the AI to analyze trades and the potential success of trades, portfolios and accounts in the market. Uh, so this is gonna be a big, big add -on. Now, we do have a lot more upgrades planned, but we would probably be sitting here until tomorrow and uh, until we discuss all of them. So if you're anything like me, paying attention for more than 60 minutes kind of becomes tedious. So with that in mind, let's move on to the live demo and software or the software and the Q&A. So let's see the live demo. So first of all, we're gonna open up the trade copier. So let me, while he's doing that, I just want to kind of yeah. touch base on something. So for those of you that may or may not know, how many of you guys have kind of been getting wind that we're getting ready to launch Neural Street funding? Now, give me a yes or no. Um, you guys are probably waiting for it, understanding things are coming, right? Well, something big is coming. There's a lot of big things coming. <laughs> and and uh, it's not just because we're, we're, we're delaying. It's like there's timelines and there's, there's things have to happen before the other happens and et cetera, et cetera. But we only want to work with the best technology. We want to be able to provide a solution that you're not dependent on, let's say, one platform or one trade copier or what. There has to be a better way. And the reason we're even hosting this event is because Adrian and his team built out the whole back end to NeuroStreet funding. They've been experienced in working in prop firm integrations, platform integrations, technology, copying, all this stuff. These guys specialize in this, right? So why this type of a trade copier is so far ahead of everybody else is that everybody else built into NinjaTrader. It's dependent on one platform. It's dependent on an importing of an indicator. This type of a trade copy technology will integrate with every single platform that supports it inside a Rhythmic. And when we launch TickBlaze and NeuroStreet funding, 
the whole purpose of this trade copier is that it'll be the preferred trade copy solution for both companies. And it's going to allow you to be able to use our expansion and all of the other platforms in your evaluation or funded process. This over time will basically dwarf any trade copier in the business times a hundred because everybody can use it on every single platform without having to be dependent on a platform, which is very, very, very significant. And we also, we do have, um, and we will make this promise that we will always do upgrades to the trade copier. We've got limitless ideas and roadmaps. I could probably, we could probably map out the next five years worth of upgrades. It's, it, it is that big. It is potentially that big of a trade copier. So, we get excited. Um, <laughs> we get excited exactly. because it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. It, it, it involves so many people. Okay, so now I'm going to log in and I'm going to log into NeuroStreet Funding. Because that, that was the whole build-up that Sean was doing right there. I'm just going to log into Frankfurt because it's closest to us. Um, okay, logging in. And we've got the disclaimer. This is only going to pop up the very first time that you um, that you start the trade copier. Um, that's just a disclaimer that you have to accept. Uh, okay, so now we're we're inside of the trade copier. So we try to make it as easy and as streamlined as possible to set this up. I'm going to breeze through this just so you know how quickly you can do it. So you you have to select your leader account. I'm just going to do number one. I'm going to activate the two accounts that I want to copy. As I said, you do have to activate the accounts. You go to instruments. I want to trade the ES and the NASDAQ. I'm going to flip them over into account number two. Now, I'm going to select account number three, and I'm going to copy the trades from account number two, and I'm just going to add the missing. And we activate these. We go back to account number two. We activate the instruments that we want to trade. And you know what? In account number three, let's do a percentage. Let's do 200%. So what we're going to do is we're going to double the, the quantity on the ES. Now we're going to turn this on and we're going to hit the save button. That's it. That's all you have to do to get it set up. Now, we're using Rhythmic Trader Pro. We're not using an actual platform. Uh, because we don't want to uh, be biased to any actual platform. That's why we're using the Rhythmic Trader Pro with the Rhythmic accounts. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna buy one quantity on the ES uh, March expiry contract 2024 at a micro price. And you can see all three got filled. And in account number three, we have the two quantity instead of the one and the sell side that's essentially it that's basically how easy it is to to set it all up and and get it all gone now let's get into questions i did see that someone in the meantime uh asked uh will that require multiple virtual machines i think it was jack shay something uh, Jack, can you please elaborate on that a little bit? Will it support Forex and cryptocurrency? Yes, we're looking at supporting Forex and cryptocurrency, Umberto. Uh, but right now we're only supporting futures. Uh, so there will be no need for a VPS or a trade to trade across companies? No, there will not be a need for a VPS. As you saw, I just logged in and everything was working properly. Uh, multiple connect to our trader. Uh, oh no, no, no. Um, you only need you don't need to connect to our trader. That's the that's the whole beauty of this, because we're only connecting into the trading part of it. So you don't need to connect to our trader. You just connect directly into the account. 
uh, will it fill the actual orders limits or just market orders? No, it's actual, uh, it's, it's copying the exact orders. And why it does that is because, for example, if you kill your trade copier or something happens with your trade copier and you've got an entry, a stop and a target in your master account, well, you will have an entry stop and a target in all the follower accounts. That's very, very important. And I, I, being traders ourselves, that is very, very important to us. Okay, how is this supporting rhythmic connections? Can a training platform and the copier be connected to the same account or is it a second page? No, so this is con connecting only to the trading side of rhythmic. So you don't, you don't actually need to pay uh, a second connection to rhythmic. It's only the one connection. You connect your platform to it with your data feed and everything, and then you connect your trade copier and it just connects to the trading part of things. Uh, you are tied to Rhythmic and not everyone uses it. You are correct, Rain. You are very correct, but we are looking at expanding and adding more brokers and trade processes as we have mentioned previously. The goal here so, is that it works with every it works with every integration to Rhythmic since Rhythmic is the byproduct of seventy five to eighty percent of all prop firms in the business in futures at this time. Um, the whole mainstream concept is that you can use any platform that is integrated into Rhythmic. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you can trade an infinite amount of accounts with the trade copy. Yes depending on, you know, if they create the accounts for you. Because, <laughs> you know, every every prop trading firm has a limit to the number of accounts that they can create for you. In later presentation, but can you add both Tradevate and Rhythmic accounts? And unfortunately, we don't support Tradevate at the moment. Uh, we don't know what it takes to support Tradevate accounts at the moment. Uh, we'll look into that and we'll add it to the roadmap. If you get fills on some copied orders and the others that are waiting to fill, can you exit the orders or flatten them from the copier platform or do you have to do that from the trading platform? Um, it's very impossible, uh, GW, it's very impossible to not get filled on the waiting orders, but we do have, uh, we do have safeguards in place. So for example, if your main order gets filled, uh, fills its target, and there is a safeguard that if it, if it doesn't get filled, if the follower accounts don't get filled within an X amount of time, they get closed out. Just FYI. Uh, there's a question for from friend to Sean, I'm guessing, at NeuroStreet, re upcoming NeuroStreet funding. What are your thoughts around the CFTC action against my Forex funds? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad you're asking this because I've been a very quiet fly on the wall um, <laughs> because I'm probably the most in the know person on that lawsuit than anyone in the world right now. That's how seriously ingrained I am. Um, we were going to launch Neural Street funding too uh, sooner. And what ended up happening is when that lawsuit went out, um, we decided to take the actual uh, lawsuit, dissect it, digest it. We brought in the most, I can't name the firm. Let's just say they represent the largest hedge funds in the world. They also represent every major prop firm in the business uh, that is basically taking Chicago, New York, and London. Um, they are, the former chair of the CFTC is their actual CFTC in-house counsel. So I was privileged enough to actually meet with the CFTC lawyers. I was actually privileged enough to meet with all of these big shots. Cost me a lot of money. Uh, and uh, what's interesting is that there's changes coming. There's changes coming to the industry. Um, majority of all firms, including everybody that you know of, is not completely compliant with what's coming. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail right now, but let's just say that um, Neural Street funding will be pioneering new grounds and it'll be doing so in a much better way than any other firm is basically positioned to do so right now. And uh, I'll be going over more details on that 
uh, because I'm going to reserve the right to go over that in more detail with regards to Neural Street funding uh, in regards to our stance on compliance, our stance on business model, uh, the way in which we're handling that. Um, you know, it's interesting enough to know that there was many things that took place in that lawsuit, but we're going to be doing things a whole lot differently than what a lot of other firms are doing and yet still be able to offer better payouts, faster payouts, more money, faster payouts. Let me just keep going bigger, better. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, we'll be doing so with a hell of a lot more compliance than any firm that's existing, including even the top guys right now. Uh, they're not really prepared if something's happened right now and they got audited from their regulators. I'd like to think that they'd be in pretty much trouble. I can't go into that right now, but just after reading everyone's contracts, including Apex, Top Steps, all of them, um, there's some things that they're doing that they shouldn't be. I can't go into detail and I'm not saying that they're breaking the laws. I'm just saying that from my experience, they're not as compliant as they should be. And with this new lawsuit, things are going to be changing. And we're just, everybody's waiting for my Forex funds to happen, right? And I don't want to steer from Adrian's presentation, but it affects Adrian. It affects everybody oh, because yeah, the, pro the, the prop industry is uh, is getting shaken. And, and uh, this will be the first case of precedence. Uh, I've read literally the lawsuit 75 pages, 10 times, literally highlighted. I can send you my highlight notes. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into that, that even the influencers and all the noise online don't really know what they're talking about. And, uh, it's, it's, let's just say that futures is in a much better position than other asset classes. Um, and that the, it was an, it was an investigation that's been taking place for almost two years. So it's not just new, uh, it's. Why don't we do this? Would everybody like to have a private webinar on regulation, compliance, funding, all of my perspective on all this and kind of where it all goes so that we can basically kind of give you guys some insight and my experience? Um, at that time, I can tell you, you know, who my counsel is and give you guys some peace of mind, just mainly so that you understand what's coming, what's happened, what's about to happen, what maybe is going to happen. I'm not, uh, I'm not Houdini. I don't, I'm not regulators, but I can only speak from experience after it cost me close to $40,000 <laughs> for counsel on that. So um, it, it, the best in the business isn't cheap. And you'd, you want to be represented by the big boys so that when the regulators come and knock in, they have lunch with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth, right? As soon as that lawsuit hit, I, I basically got the best guys in town to basically go through our model, make sure that everything was buttoned up. Yeah. And it's why we're, we're, uh, we're really proud to go to market because what we'll be doing will be different. And Adrian exactly. will definitely be every single eval that comes through neural street funding. will have an integration with trade copy technology. Every single one of our, our programs, we're integrating Adrian's technology with all of our funding. And uh, we're going to be multi-asset. So we're going to launch with futures and then we're looking to open up foreign exchange and, and all that stuff after. Yeah. So it's, exactly. uh, it's, ex it's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I, I'll just tell you from my perspective and I can only give you the information that I have from my council and I'm not representing any other funding evaluation, but I have experience in knowing what their contracts say, because I've read all their contracts, I've read all their payout agreements, I've read all their terms of services, I've read everything, because when you go into the market, you better know your competitors and you better know what they do and how you can be better and how you can protect yourself against things in case regulators want to know what's going on. And uh, we have several FCMs that we're partnered with and we're aligned with that have already approved what we're looking to do. And uh, we're just super excited. But I'll make sure you guys are up to know in this. And uh, it directly affects trade copying and it directly affects your comfort in the funding companies, right? If, if you're going to be using the ETP trade copier, you want to know that you're with a firm that, you know, is, has, is represented properly and is doing things properly. Right. I don't care how big you are. It doesn't matter how much traders you have and how many evals you sell. And, you know, you're the hot guy on the street. Right. Or the biggest discounts you offer. You're a nobody if the CFTC comes and shuts you down. Yeah. End of story. So even the Never big guys right now, government. I hope they're taking necessary actions because some of the things that we notice, they're not really aligned with what regulators are looking at right now. Yeah. Yeah. My my two cents.
<laughs> and that's why I started laughing the moment that I was reading that. I, I, Are you guys okay with me going on a tangent? Didn't mean to steal the floor here, guys, but no, it, directly, no, no, it directly affects the funding business and it directly affects you using trade copiers and putting your money into evaluation companies and stuff because it is coming and everybody's been waiting. And uh, I'll host a webinar when we launch Neural Street Funding to give you my perspective on industry compliance and my perspective on how we're different, the things that we've done to basically safeguard the safety of our company and our firm and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So you guys are in good hands. I can promise you that. In the meantime, copy trades with ETP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've got another question from Pete Garcia. Uh, he said, is there a way to define risk on the follower accounts? If I have, let's say $15,000 account and three fifty k accounts, follower accounts, I can trade NASDAQ with say $500 risk per trade, but on the follower accounts, my risk would have to be significantly less. Well, your risk would be actually moderated from the quantity that you actually trade. So let's say, for example, you're trading uh, on the $150,000 account, you're trading three full lots. Well, on the $50,000 accounts, I would say you would be trading one full lot. You know, that sort of stuff. That's how you reduce your risk. So you're not essentially reducing your risk via the stop loss, uh, via your exposure on, uh, from the stop loss, but you're actually reducing your risk via the quantity that you're trading. Uh, how fast and reliable are the executions? Well, Olin, uh, you've seen it. We've actually tested with a mobile phone connected to the computer. So we tried to get the slowest freaking possible connection possible. And it still copies trades pretty much instantaneously. It's a 0 0.1 second delay on the slowest machine and a 0 0.01 second delay when your internet's going good. Uh, will it allow trading OCO during red flag news announcements like the non-farm payroll? Well, if your trading platform allows you to trade that, then yes. If your trading platform doesn't allow you to trade that, then no. Uh, Randall, just to clarify, this currently will not work with Apex. No, it won't work with Apex. It won't work with Top Step, and it won't work with Full Knots. We're in... Well, Sean explained it, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Uh, Humberto, also, does this mean that we can use CQG accounts? Not yet. We're looking at adding those very soon in add-ons. Uh, Daniel Benjamin, I think, if I have three different strategies on the ES and I want each strategy's trades to copy two different accounts and in different percentages, is that possible? No. There's no way to tell which orders are coming from which strategies unless you're actually hooked into the trading platform and we're not, we're actually hooked into your account. Uh, Boris Horgan, hi, um, I on a break, I can't stay. Can you send me, okay, we can send you the link after that, no probs. Uh, friend, nice to hear the firm is in this space. That is not denial. And there was a lot of yeses and agreeing with Sean. And GW, I came in late. Can the copy access from a cellular phone as a backup if the computer goes down? No, this is a Windows only application. So if everything goes down, I would suggest having a laptop in the background that you can connect to or a server or something like uh, along those lines. I guess that's it for the questions. Uh, here are some print screens of the trade copier at work. Now, the offer. Jim's going to put in very soon the offer for you guys. Um, so right now, how do you flatten all when in an emergency? Well, you should have that ability directly from your prop trading firm, where you can log in. I'm. I know. I, I know. We uh, built it for Neural Street well. Funding. And, I know and, we, yeah, we, exactly. We we built it so that you could log in on your phone and go right into the website and hit kill all which will override all trade copiers and everything. It goes directly into Rhythmic. So we built a kill switch. Yeah, I know Apex has a kill switch. It's not relevant to this discussion, but yeah, I mean, you have yeah. you have uh, emergency safeguards done at the prop firm level. It's not normally done at the at the trade copier level. Yeah, yeah and it shouldn't be down at the pro platform level either. It's it's essentially down at the, at the prop firm level. Like they should, that is the only emergency. Okay, so uh, I see that Jim was was in here. So we launched on the 30th of November. The retail price is 197, reduced price by 25% for you guys, just because you joined 
with Neurostreet and us today. Uh, and the sell price is 147. Jim has thrown that in uh, the uh, and purchase and link. And how the coupon many code. is that good? How many how many computers can that be installed on? I think it's uh... you can install that on as many computers as you as you want, but you can yeah. only log into one computer at once. Sure, which is like a data connection. Yes. Yeah. Um, exactly. And that's a one-time license, right? This is not a recurring fee. Yeah, this is a lifetime license, right? You purchase yeah. once, you own it. Yeah, and you get a discount because you're working with us. We've been able to get a discount oh, on this. I mean, it's 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 guys. It's like it's it's the most inexpensive thing I've ever seen for the best quality of technology that's been built in the business. What's about to happen with this is is uh, you know once they integrate with TradingView come January and it basically opens up what we're doing. We're going to be a firm that supports both TickBlaze as well as TradingView integrations for funding. And this is going to be the answer for that. So, you know, take advantage of it now. You're getting in early. Normally, we were going to do this event a couple months down the road once we launched. But we figured that if you get it up and running, you guys can play around with it over the holidays. And then when Neural Street funding goes live, you have access to this. When TickBlaze goes live... You have access to this and you can use it with any other firm right now that's integrated into Rhythmic other than Apex and Top Step and, and Bolinox. Th there's there's nine more prop trading firms out there. It's yeah. Apex, Top Step, and Bullnox are not end all. And you may still work with Top or uh, Top Step, right? Like it's just still they, they it's still yeah. in, in discussions. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. So, so. we we are in discussions and we'll let you know at the moment. Uh well, uh, the the people over at Neuro Street will send out a right. a uh, a notice when when we do finish our conversations and sure. if we do end up adding top step and apex. Sure. Yeah. So it's a simple presentation. It's a simple concept, but it's a very powerful tool. It's a trade copier that's platform neutral. It allows you to basically connect and do things that none of the other trade copiers can. And uh, it's extremely inexpensive. <laughs> it's it's. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like it's a win-win. How many guys can see the value of this? Give me a yes in the chat box. I know Adrian sounded a bit quiet there, eh, brother? You were, you've been on the flu. You've been working around the, the oh yeah, the I've, I've it's... Got, I, I had the flu over this weekend. It's it's uh, I'm all stuffy and it's just horrible. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his best. Here he comes out and 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 it's Europe right there. What time is it there right now? Oh, it's ten o'clock at night. Yeah, so. he's he's sicker than a dog doing this at ten o'clock at night to make sure that you guys get access to this. So, I can promise you, it's not for a lack of effort, right? If you have two prop accounts from two different companies with Rhythmic, do they consider you a professional? I can't answer that. I'm sorry. No, it's uh, That's something. I would I would I know about that. I don't yeah. have the answer to that either. It's, yeah. Are there any plans for Apex to get on board at all? I don't think <laughs> well, so, Rob. We hope so. Well, but, yeah, we hope so. They've just spent very months slippery. building their own, uh, their yeah, own exactly. trade copier that's independent and only for Ninja, right? And, and you know, I, I can tell you from experience that building your own trade copier, even with a team of programmers, is not fun, <laughs> and it's not easy. So I could, I can. Completely understand why they wouldn't allow our trade copier to be on their platform. Sure. Uh, if I run NT8 on my laptop and I also uh, on a VPS, then when do I need a second license? Well, with this with this trade copy, you don't actually need to. You you can run it on your VPS and and connect directly into your uh, into your account without. Uh, without actually needing a second license because they are trading demo accounts. They're not professional. Okay. Well, someone answered, I'm, I can't attest to that. Uh, to me, there is no point buying it yet since it does not work with Apex accounts and that's your prerogative. Thank you for, for letting us know, Lois. Uh, Rob Rogers, yes, but it's only the same as Replicanto and requires a cross company. It requires a this to cross from anyway. I, I didn't understand that, Rob. Sorry. Uh, all prop firms are trading demo accounts, VPS. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but it re requires a VPS to cross company trade. Mm, not necessarily. You don't necessarily need a VPS. You could do it without a VPS. But anyway, um, I guess that's all the questions. 
uh, yeah, a request for Sean to give you guys a presentation on the Neurostreet funding. I'm sure he has that already lined up and just closer, closer to the launch of Neurostreet funding. I just right. want to show everybody everything. I'm so freaking impatient, but I've been having to be so patient. <laughs> like, like I just, I just, everybody's talking about Apex this and Top Step this and all that. But when we launch, no one will touch our payouts. No one will touch what we're able to do. Not even close. Like we're going to take so much market share that it's going to piss the entire industry off. And uh, that's a pretty bold statement. So if you want to go to them and say that I'm saying this, please do, because they should be scared. They should be scared about what's about to happen in the funding space. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so coming out and saying it. Like it's, we studied 75 firms to build a superior model. <laughs> it's, it's just nothing in the industry will be able to touch what we do. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, It'll, that's true. Always, and, always and I can for, attest to that because we built it. There's nothing in the <laughs> industry that will touch what we do, and everybody will have to come crawling back to what's going on. They're, they're not going to keep up to it. And uh, I just get so passionate, but it's not for the lack of being ungrateful for all of the people that paved the way before, but there's just, there's always a better way to do things. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, that's why we like to innovate. So, um, I'm going to stop the recording and, uh, you know, what, what I'll do here guys is, you know, Adrian's available for questions outside of this, his emails here, his LinkedIn's there, his Twitter, his Facebook, everything, his, is, everything there. is there, his address is there, his dog's middle name is there, <laughs> right? But, but, uh, you know, all jokes aside, this was like a preliminary beta release. It's kind of like letting you guys get in sooner than we go to market with all the other stuff that we're doing. And uh, we will be hosting a more in-depth presentation once Neural Street funding goes live with this technology. But we just wanted to do kind of like a beta round release, kind of get you guys like an in the know stuff once it's coming, because it's coming and it's something, some, it's going to be extremely available uh, immediately, actually in Q1. Um, and uh, Neural Street funding and TickBlaze will be going live in Q1 of next year. Yeah. yeah so, nice. yeah. So um, without that being said, guys, uh, are you guys okay with me um, pausing the recording and giving you guys like a sneak peek of Neural Street funding and 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 TickBlaze and everything that's coming and how we're going to integrate ETP into it? Like, would you guys like to kind of get a little teaser on that? Because <laughs> it's 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 going to help ETP, baby. It's it's we're directly integrating both. We're directly integrating both. Jim, are you here? I know Jim's thinking, no, don't do it, Sean. Don't do it. Nope. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm gone. I left a while ago. <laughs> uh, I couldn't help myself, but it's a direct integration to ETPs in uh funding. I'll I'll stop my sharing so you can you can take over, all right? Well and uh I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording, guys. And uh yeah, Jim can put the that. Jim I'll can Jim can put the link in the chat box for ETP. And and the reason I wanted to show this is because uh when you buy an evaluation from Neural Street Funding when it goes live, it's um, – well, let me just stop this. <laughs>